Hello, my name is Sam Freke and I'm here to show you a few shader examples. Um, in here you can see uh, Cloverfield. This Cloverfield is using a height offset for three different types of clovers. This creates a really sweet um, overlapping feeling and a nice depth feel. The clovers have an opacity mask and the opacity mask is used to create a shadow on the plane below the clovers. Um, the, the color of the shadow and the, the shadow itself can be altered by a few notes and those notes can make it less less dark or having different shapes with uh, softer transitions or harder transitions. Uh, next up I'll show you my weather system in this weather system, I can blend the amount of wetness from completely dry to completely wet and I can uh, alter the, the temperature from warm to cold. So whenever a surface is wet because of the wetness setting uh, and uh, if it's cold it will freeze, if it's warm it's water. Um, in here I have the example of the on the left side everything is like a little bit of more vertex painted and on the right side it uses the default value of uh, just uh, smoothly going between the two values it's a simple parameter that you can manually change in this case I put it to a sign that just goes up and down between the different uh, settings so that you can have a nice example of the different uh, states that everything is in. So in here you can see that the water is actually moving and when it freezes up the water stops moving and everything becomes ice or snow. If there is no water in that part it becomes more snow and if there's a lot of ice, uh, if it's a lot of water it becomes ice. Next up we have a few pictures of uh, grass plane that I made. It's a very very extensive shader that has a lot of uh, uses for quickly testing stuff. It has uh, many parameters that you can tweak and play around. So the first scene is a green grass plane with a high amount of visibility of the, 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 the grass mesh and the underground Next up we show that I can alter the opacity of the depth of the 3D mesh, alter the colors, change the, the wind settings and all that kind of stuff. Of course to complement with the background we uh, add more settings and options to fully customize the need of everybody that wants to try different things out. So in here you can see if the the green values in the bot in the top for uh, the darkness of the shadow side of uh, the terrain and the sunny side of the terrain. If I alter those to be more like the color of the terrain, we can easily make it like a sweet gradient that covers the entire area. In here, you can see that I did um, a new technique that I've not seen anywhere else before. So this uses the, the directional of the sun, so if the sun is coming from the left, like in this case, the 3D meshes on the ground would normally have a shadow side and a sunny side. So if you're standing uh, in the center of your terrain and you look to the left against the sun, you would normally only see the darker side of the grass. I made it so that you can actually tweak the terrain to match the type of color of the, the 3D mesh itself. Normally we would do the other way around where we make all the terrain and all three meshes have the same type of color so you have a nice blend. But I try to step it up and do it nicely and create the terrain that actually blends this as well. Here's an example of the very extensive uh, material that I set up for this where it 
lens between all the options. Uh, thank you for your time, and see you next time.